collaborating today, so the hat is happening. Deal with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jay and today I am here with my Emojiathon TBR. I'm going to be doing it a little differently than all the other hosts, I think. Before I even begin, I'm just going to do a quick little rundown of what Emojiathon is. Emojiathon is a month-long readathon that myself and three other wonderful booktubers slash one bookstagrammer is running for the month of March. We have a bunch of emojis which are corresponding with challenges and basically the whole point is to pick your emojis and then read a book that pertains to that challenge. We created this bingo board and it's basically just a fun way to try to complete all the challenges in like a visual way. What I've decided to do is take the bingo board that we created and I'm going to do one line every week. Is this actually going to happen? No, but we gonna try. So without further ado, let us get started. I've decided that I'm going to do the first row of emojis for the first week. So I picked out five books and we're gonna see if we can do this. So this is my week one emojiathon TBR. Are you ready for this? The first emoji is the taco and I'm kind of cheating for this because the taco is supposed to be Dylan's book choice and I've already read We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson and I hate rereading books because I don't like knowing what's going on so I decided to kind of cheat a little bit and pick a different Sean David Hutchinson book which Dylan sent me so like I'm gonna say that he's gonna be okay with this but I'm going to read the five stages of Andrew Brawley for this challenge and I'm still gonna count it so Dylan if you don't agree I'm sorry but this is now the book choice that you are picking. The next emoji in this little row that I'm trying to complete is going to be the like shrugging girl and this is supposed to be a book that you haven't read yet and you don't know why and I'm choosing The Dream Thieves by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the second book in The Raven Cycle. I read The Raven Boys absolutely adored it so much and I've had this since Christmas. My brother ended up giving it to me as my present and I just haven't picked it up yet so definitely going to try to get into this one because like why have I not read it yet? I don't know. The next emoji is the brain emoji and it is to read a book that is featuring mental health. I don't know if this book actually has good mental health representation because it doesn't explicitly say that the character has this mental illness but from reading the back it sounds like she has this mental illness so I'm going with it. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. But it is 10 Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker. The book follows Casey who was in a car crash that killed her entire family her boyfriend and her best friend and now she is suffering from PTSD. This is where I don't know if it's true or not but it sounds like she is so we're going with it but she meets a boy and then he tries to like open her heart because you know she's having a difficult time with her parents and everybody she loves dying. So I have no idea if it's actually a mental health book but I'm saying it is. So if it's not, yell at me in the comments. I'm sorry, but we're going with it. If it doesn't end up being a mental health book, I'll count it towards a different challenge. Sue me, okay? The next emoji is the soccer ball emoji, and this is to read a book that features a sport. So I'm reading Slam by Walter Dean Myers. I honestly have no idea what it's about other than it follows a boy named Greg and he's very good at basketball but he's living in a very rundown neighborhood so he doesn't have the opportunities that other people have and then his teacher basically tells him that he's failing school and he needs to step his game up or he's gonna be basically expelled. That's all I know but it's got a kid with a basketball on it therefore sports therefore counts as a challenge therefore we're reading it. You see the logic in this? I'm good at this matchy matchy game. And then the final emoji for this row is the car emoji and it is to read a book that features a road trip and I'm going with Amy and Roger's epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I've heard great things about this. It's literally all about a road trip so we fulfill in that challenge so hopefully we actually read these books. Is it gonna happen? Probably not because March is the month of final projects in university. So maybe we'll get one row done for the entire, you know, 
month of March, but we're gonna try to do the bingo board. Let me know down below what challenges you're trying to complete for this week, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!